Hello, I'm Sol SolarLoon, and here's another tutorial for using Sunvox. This one will be talking about sampler, I guess you could, you could call it resampling. So um, frequently when you make a song, you want to have a sample in your song like this. It's a drum loop. And you like drum loops, so you say, okay, man, I wish I could have a sample in my song that sounds like this. But my song's pace is boom. Boom, boom, it doesn't fit. So what can you do? Well, that's what we are going to be fixing today. So first off, what's what's our options? Well, we can do this through two methods. One is to use the sample offset with, well, I guess one way would be to play the sample uh, on a lower pitch or higher pitch to fit your, your song speed. But we're looking at a more, uh, looking for a more controllable method. So that's what we are going to be using sample offset for. So there's percentage and frames. Um, percentage allows you to go uh, from zero to 8,000 as a percent in hexadecimal, zero to 8,000 in hexadecimal, um, with 8,000 being 100% and zero being no zero percent. And frames is, uh, well, frame number. I think it's frame divided by 256 is for each hexadecimal um, number. So we're, what we're going to be using is percentage because it's easier for me. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so we have our note we, and we uh, have the effect seven. We're going to do that twice and we're going to duplicate the last one. And then we're going to set it to be 8,000 on the last frame or 100%. And then we're going to select the whole column, right click, go to edit, and then interpolate control values. So we have basically a... a I guess you could call it a slide going from zero to a hundred percent. So you can hear this here. So you hear that little double beat right there, that double uh, clip. Yeah, that's because the sample's looping, and also because eight thousand is a um, hundred percent. There's nothing at a hundred percent. What we actually want to do is play just before 100%. So we're going to cut, cut out the 8,000 line and then copy the previous line and interpolate it again. Right, so it's, it's looping pretty smoothly now. Now we hear that little uh, chopping. Right, that little chopping is because, uh, well, we're slowing down or speeding up the sample, and so it's got to be, you know, it's playing basically, uh, since we're slowing it down, it's playing pretty much more of the sample than we need, and then it cuts back, and so you're hitting kind of like a, a grain uh, effect. So what we want to do is cut that out. So we're going to go to the envelope section of the sample uh, editor of the sampler that we have, and then we're going to create a sample, um, I'm sorry, an envelope that looks like this. So I'm going to do it really quickly right here. So you probably start off with something like this when you open the sample module with your sample. What you're going to do is basically push the leftmost point to zero, push the uh, put put another point in between that and and the next line basically. You want to put this as close together as possible. So zoom in and make sure it's, it's as close as it can be. And then you're going to add another line. Oh, no, another point rather. And then push it so that it's this short little triangle. You want to make sure that the sustain is on, so make sure it's enabled. And then set the sustain point right there at the middle. If the uh, envelope is disabled, make sure you enable it with the uh, power button here. And it should sound like this. It sounds the same. And that's because we're not re-triggering the note, we're re-triggering the sample. We're offsetting it and re-triggering, offsetting it and re-triggering it. In order to make take advantage of that envelope, we need to actually play the note. So that I'm going to quickly just gonna quickly uh, copy that down now. It's a lot smoother. Now the advantage of this of this whole thing is that we can speed up or slow down our song as we want. But we can also pitch up or down our sample as we want.
And since we're handling the samples directly, we can also change the beat as we want. So yeah, that's you can have a lot of fun with uh, you can have a lot of fun with uh, samples. Right, yeah. So that's basically just the uh, quick tutorial on resampling on using the sample offset effect. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar <laughs> I've been Solar Loon, and uh, hopefully I'll have something useful in the future to to produce. Um, thank you very much for subscribing and, and watching, and have fun making music with Sunvox.